what is going on guys i am the veteran miner sorry for the white this is vistang gpu risers uh had some computer problems i apologize to everyone thank you for sticking around um first off i just want to pay my respects to eric um you guys may know him as overboard tech um unfortunately he is uh he has passed away and uh my deepest uh condolences to his family um i know i knew eric as a personal friend um i did meet him at um the flux convention as well as mike uh met him there too um he was a huge part of the community and uh he'll be missed so um with that being said mike do you want to say something and uh and it's it's sad that's all yeah yeah no it's really unfortunate um you know having someone pass away in in the community he's definitely going to be missed um he was always in the chats always like super supportive of anyone doing anything not just me and dave right not just better minor gp risers tara he's always been super involved with the community and um you know i've, I've known him for a couple of years now and um just always a really nice guy um always supportive and uh it's just it's really unfortunate so um you know like dave said condolences to his family and um you know it's um i wish him uh peaceful transition to whatever maybe after this you know right. it's um it's uh it's a sad situation but uh he will be missed but. i guess uh with that being said um i guess uh how was your week mike how, to, how did it go this week uh it was good it was good sorry if my camera's kind of blurring out a little bit uh it's a good week lots of uh movement on the terrors you know the terror side of things we have a lot going on with terra um expanding in kansas expanding in uh wyoming and um and at our data center of course in florida so uh we've had a lot of new a lot of new projects come in over the past weekend uh expanding our ai our compute division um of everything so uh been really focused on that um this week has been pretty busy lots of uh calls with you know expansion expansion projects in kansas and wyoming uh dealing with power companies and everything like that right like so it's always it's always something but we do have um we made a lot of progress on our ai division our data center division we are going to be expanding on flux nodes we're going to be expanding um on the general ai compute so Lots of stuff to do with that. I will be going up with Hawk Crypto Mining, uh, I believe Monday, um, possibly Sunday, possibly Tuesday. We will be at the data center uh, doing deployments, I guess you could say. So uh, looking forward to that. Looking forward to expanding that side. Um, that's pretty much it on since last week, I think. Uh, it was kind of a... Uh, you know kind of a somber weekend really um with right. with everything going on you know and um uh, with everything with eric and uh you know saturday i kind of uh you know i woke up you know to the saturday and then i kind of just took <clears> off <throat> saturday kind of just uh went for a walk and stuff and it always kind of you know makes you think more about life right when all this stuff happens so it's it's uh good to take some time and uh kind of i don't know yeah, you know Get what? It. The only thing I could say is like, you know what? H hug your close ones, hug hug your loved ones, and um, take every day, day by day. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just cherish it. That's all. You know? Yeah. So um, that's kind of how how my last week went. Uh, but um, I know Dave, you had some interesting stuff too. You're doing, yeah. You you have a fun little project going on in the background. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. a new website is definitely coming. Um there has been a lot of work i'm doing the website again but i'm taking it you know to a uh, a very professional level um there's gonna be a lot more available when it comes to colors uh you guys are gonna see how many colors and i don't have every single color available but you guys are gonna be able to see how many colors i really have available to offer it's pretty it's pretty crazy um the amount of colors that i have available um certain items i'm going to add to the website as well i did not want to 
do a sneak peek because we are i want to say rebranding just renaming things um to be honest um it's very hard you know on on a business standpoint uh when you have a website and you and you're marketing you know to the the crypto or ai or or, or gaming world because i make cables right for all these types of you know all those different um like sections or that you, you would say right the veteran miner when you do a veteran miner you could find just a veteran guy or something like that that's like has a pitchfork and just like mining for gold literally right they have, you see websites I've, I've done a search <laughs> you know i did a search on it so uh the new name i'll release it soon um customers are probably gonna see the new branding but it's just like it's just a little different that's all we're not really changing stuff it's just that it's gonna be a generic name that everyone can relate to what i do for you know for the communities what i do for ai what i do for you guys uh what i do um for the gaming community as well right so it's like i'm part of all these types of communities that I have something to offer and uh i just want to see where it goes that's all um so i mean mike mike has seen parts of it i am taking a lot of time and effort and putting this mm. website together and i think uh maybe next week we'll launch it i'm not sure i don't want to rush it that's my that's the main thing i do not want to rush it on and make sure that everything is in place and then uh i think with the launch i probably could do a giveaway that's that was uh a thought as well so maybe we'll do it in like two weeks Maybe that'll make sense, right? Maybe next week or, or in two weeks, guys. So keep watching us. We go back and forth on our channels. Um, next week be Mike's channel, of course. But um, yeah. So I'm gonna um. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll release the name. No, or maybe I should yeah, just wait. It, yeah. Nah, maybe I should just wait. What do you guys? Right. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just wait. We'll see. We'll see how the night goes. But uh, well, uh, yeah. So that's that um and i'm working on some other projects on the side as well for expansion so if everything uh works out well you guys will see it sh <laughs> sooner than later right yeah um, we do have um some comments real quick uh scott sheffield said how many amd instinct mi 300s is Terra deploying in melbourne um none currently um we are looking at adding more diversity to our ai side um uh we are going to be adding in different cards and um you know try to get higher vram cards ones that you know may have you know closer to the 48 or 40 48 gigs vram and some 80 gig right. uh, vram cards uh for, you know if we have specific clients that need it so uh no amd yet but i know um the mining king is a big amd fan so once that becomes feasible we will be we'll be doing that um mr hawk crypto mining with the five dollar super chat uh he said he ordered overboard tech stickers for everyone uh check his x posts or twitter when they come in i'll send them out to everyone that's nice mike thanks it's um yeah, i don't really have nice. a sticker for him so it would be nice to get um mike i am reading the super chat but you see this thing and i we don't interrupt each other so i knew he was going to read that as soon as he was done with the other one we, we work together here buddy <laughs> but um dave uh, you can put some of these chats you can, you, you can pin the comments on Streamyard, right uh no so <laughs> i don't think it works that way i use stream labs and Streamyard. yeah but if you have Streamyard up you can go to comments right it should be linked to your oh you don't have it linked to your youtube I don't think so. This gotcha. just goes. Okay. So what we see, like you see everything on here, it goes mm -hmm. into StreamYard. It, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. He goes, um, he goes to what goes lies. No, it's true. <laughs> let's true see. story, bro. Uh, Dave's FinTech channel. Uh, I want to host AI with you eventually have some models to run. Yeah, hit us up, Dave's uh, FinTech. Um, we don't currently uh, host mining equipment. Why is my, my camera just... Yeah, it keeps on. Um, it might be the Vistang sign. It's uh, might be a little we'll uh, or you we'll cube your orb, your cube, your orb. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's too much bling bling. Blue orb. You yeah. had nothing, and now you have so much now, Mike. So <laughs> exactly. But um, yeah. um, 
currently we don't we don't host any ai machines like for other hosting right like if you send us an ai rig right now we can't do any hosting with that uh we decided for terrace compute division that it's just going to be in-house uh but if you need compute definitely let us know uh we have that so uh, mr dj minds are y'all ready for them 59s 100 percent, 100 percent. we are ready uh we have full lane uh 4090s running uh you know 4.0 16x it's not split up in 8x uh, so we will easily be able to transition those to 5090s when they come out um, and everything like that. So we are excited. Uh, but Mr. DJ Minds, OBS is, is the best. Yeah, I, I actually used OBS the other day. I recorded a video that's going to be coming out in like two days. It's one of the first videos that I actually put out that's it's like not a vlog. You know, the other ones were like, you know, this GoPro that was like this close to my face. But Wait, you don't have another one like that? I missed those, Mike. No, the other one's actually like this, like this scene and like, you know, me, me talking. Nice. Um, I haven't released like an actual video that's like a professional video where I sit there and like edit it in like over a year. It's probably been over a year um, because it's, I don't know, I just don't like it with a lot going on and stuff like that. Yeah. It's hard to make content. And honestly, like, I, I don't know what the top five coins are or what, you know, any of these things. So um i want if i'm going to make content i want it to be like useful so um that's what this video is uh it's about like i think it's like the top five um you know business tips kind of like incorporating it i like it's that. 24 minutes long so it, it it's, it's 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 a little if you're not into like the business side or yeah. wanting you know to understand a little more about like taxes and stuff then it's it's not um it's not a video for you but i decided it is good content right because i made like a bunch of business videos back in the day and they were like way too in depth and they were too split up and i was gonna do follow-ups and it was just like it wasn't organic right when i started my youtube channel years ago it was like i was just so serious with it i was like i gotta have this light here this light it was like i was like acting like i had like half a million subscribers <laughs> like i was like linus <laughs> tech tips you know what i mean it was just like it was just it was ridiculous. Mm. Like it's just, it's not organic at that point, right? Where okay. you're like this serious constantly. So, and it's, that's just not me. So it's uh long story short, that video will be out in a couple days. I am actually waiting for a thumbnail uh, for it because I do a lot of AI thumbnails, but this one I'm going to make, or I'm having made, uh, it's just going to be like my face with like something with the IRS or something. I don't he know. He said my face or something. Yeah. You guys don't it's, know. It's, it's, it's going to be a little different, but I like the AI ones for like the, the vlogs and stuff. I actually sent before Dave, like a whole bunch of these AI uh, thumbnails. So uh, you're, you guys are probably going to start seeing the Wired Wednesdays, yes. like different thumbnails and stuff, which will be kind of fun. Um, um, yeah, but... I can't wait. I can't wait because that that's really cool, dude. The ones you you just sent me. Yeah, that's neat. We got to change it up. That's what we're doing. We, um I guess, on the other side of, uh, I guess, not business, but our YouTube channels in general Mike and I are going to start collaborating and doing more things, more videos together. That's what yeah. we're looking to do. Right, I guess. Yeah, you mentioned Yeah, we like, we'll probably that, record right? videos like this like on yeah. specific topics. Cuz that that's one thing I know we're kind of ranting about videos right now, but I am re revamping my YouTube channel and I am going to be putting out more content. I right. think Dave is as well. I know a yeah. lot of other guys have been doing this as well, you know, really pushing content, really growing their channels. So um, we're going to be kind of doing the same thing. And um, I like having like more of like, like this, like I like videos like this, but this is long, right? Like this live stream is long. You have to watch it live or, you know, some people do watch this the next day. They just put it on while they're driving or something like that. But I think right. Dave and I are going to have more videos of just like simple topics where we just talk for like 10 minutes about it. And, um, you know, we'll see how, how that goes because you know, if you have like a top, just say the Bitcoin having, because that's coming up, what, in like a couple of days now. Like, I like to have back and forth conversation about it rather than me just staring at a camera like Bitcoin is having. It's going to the moon. It's doing yeah. this. It's doing that. You know, it's like it's good to have like agreements, disagreements and you know, all these different things. I think it's uh, at least when I see videos like that of other YouTubers that are doing like not I don't want to say like interviews and stuff like that, but like back and forth between two people like i love those those videos you know i always like gravitate towards those so uh we'll probably put more content out like that but we're gonna get we're gonna get it together at brandon coin thank you for the super chat dollar 49 super chat got a hot dog thank you brother um yeah i was talking to brandon coin too because brandon coin is kind of local in a way 
I think he's like an hour and a half away from me. So okay. uh, we're trying to do a couple of things too. Uh, I talked to him a couple of weeks. Like I have so many things going on. So uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. Brandon Coin right now is like dealing with a lot of problems with Shopify. So oh, really? yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to let you guys know what I'm doing, but <laughs> there's something coming in the near future. But uh, I need to call Brandon Coin up and uh, see what's going on with this Shopify stuff. So, no. yeah, if uh, <laughs> you guys know Brandon Coin, definitely. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah he's, it. it's not good. They're not paying him. He just got a couple of dollars here and there. And it's just like, uh, holy crap, man. And it's yeah. kind of scary, so I have to give him a phone call. We have to get together because I think I'm actually going to be doing some things with with Randy Coin too. We had a we had a brief conversation because you know he you know he he runs a business, he runs a YouTube channel, mm -hmm. just like us, right? We run a YouTube channel, a business, and it's always hectic. But whenever we get a chance to speak to each other, you know, we'll collab we'll, we'll get a co uh, collaboration going. Then another YouTuber, um, I don't know if I can say his name but that a video is coming soon and you guys may know him so stay tuned he's doing a little giveaway on twitter as well so if you're following my channel or following his channel i'm not gonna let you know who it is but um a really really cool video um that he made with me it's gonna be on his youtube channel and it's gonna be very exciting um mm -hmm. you guys are gonna see something that you've never seen before when it comes to my shop and everything else so stay tuned to that video. That video is going to be pretty exciting. Um, but um, yeah. So I do think Crypto Craig had another uh, thing real quick. He said GPU Rises already heard from Octominer, and if they are going to put out the AI cases, basically everything they have is not for sale. Even GPUs hard to get parts. No, I have not heard from uh, from Octominer in quite some time. Tara did speak with them briefly. Um, I had conversations with um, the owner for for AI related things, uh, but they kind of just keep falling off the the you know the face of the earth. I guess you could say like they just keep disappearing. Um, it has been frustrating on GP riser side because you know you guys we do have like the R8s, the white labeled. Uh, x8 ultras and um yeah i mean if you know you guys out there are having problems getting parts and we are having problems getting parts you know we're having to source parts and everything like that so it kind of is a pain um but that is uh where that stands but, but yeah i see i did i do see brandon coin i'm trying to i'm so late in the chat what's up brandon coin thanks for stopping by um but but yeah, oh, Mr. Crypto Frank is here as well. Long time no talk, Crypto Frank. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, nothing from Octominer. So that, that, that's that. Yeah, but, I think um, um, Chili put something in, in um, on on their Discord or something like that, that mm -hmm. they're trying to get through the tickets or something. And so, yeah, it's unfortunate, man. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, we hopefully a, it'll come together sooner than later yeah. man because that sucks you know yeah we have probably about i want to say maybe about 50 r8s left uh and of course we're going to keep a good amount of these so like they're going to be out of stock soonish um and the reason we have to keep a lot of these is because like that's the only way that we can you know gpu risers can uphold the warranty on these things right because we can't just tell clients like hey optimizer has gone you know sorry you know what i mean um right one one problem that has been going around with them which some clients still have is that the nick doesn't work like the ethernet uh but like a simple usb to ethernet works on that just fine so we've been basically just telling customers hey just do that we'll refund you whatever the the price is on amazon that you buy one from but um yeah we're gonna have to keep a lot for spare parts so um, the nick cards everything. are not working so you just just uh basically use a usb to nick then yeah yeah okay. that, that fixes it right away i mean that's what no we big do with deal. it well, still works so. you don't lose anything yeah yeah it will be uh will be kind of a pain uh, going forward but like I, we offer a year warranty on the parts and stuff so we, we do have some fans and we do have some uh, motherboards and extension boards and fan controllers but you know that's kind of the problem you know a lot of people do reach out and they're like hey can we buy these parts from you or, or something like that and like as much as i mm -hmm. want to do that you, I know it's going to get to a point where someone's going to say, Hey, I have a, 
you know, an extension board that went bad. I'm literally got to open a brand new R8, just take out the extension board and then like kind of part it out, you know, scavenge the whole thing. So um, I do apologize for not selling the parts, but um, trying to at least get some money out of it, right? The, the cost of just the overall R8 project was a lot more than what was anticipated with that. So, um, but that's that, yeah, it's gonna... <laughs> I see Crypto Frank is talking about mining disrupt. Uh, that's coming around the corner too, Dave. Um, Everything's coming around the corner. It's crazy. I, know, I can't believe it's April already. It's just it's just nuts. And the having is here. I, I could actually share that. Let me share that real quick so we have something up here. Yeah, can... it's like less than two days now, or is it still like two days, something hours? Yeah, it's. Uh, Who are you using? Less Let's see than here. two days, actually. You ready to show it? Yeah, yeah, you can throw it up. Um. So yeah. Oh, I mean, you didn't just... blast us. You got it on yeah, night. Yeah. Wow. This is a I first. I tried to find Somebody a light a mode and I couldn't find it. So. Yeah. You guys got to take a screenshot on this. This is impressive. Yeah. Very impressive, Mike. Thank you. And the yeah. viewers, thank you as well. <laughs> yeah, but, I was looking um, at watcher.guru. Uh, I think you had anyone else uh, use this one or any other ones? This was the one I was looking at too. So, what are we at? Yeah, here? this is the best one I've found yeah, so far. One day, 22 um, hours. <clears throat> yeah. Allegedly, right? Yeah. Yeah, it says 7, 16 p.m. I mean, it keeps getting tighter and tighter. So, like, right. as the hours lead up to it, um, it'll get closer and closer. It's, um, you know, it's a block at the end of the day, right? It's not going to be, like, an exact, you know, time. It's not like the eclipse, right? But, um, yeah, no, super exciting uh, with the hat. This is my third having, I think. It's my first. Um, yeah, so this is... Um, it's my first having without Ethereum mining and like GPU mining, right? Like the Bitcoin right. having, it, it affected Ethereum mining and GPU mining in the sense that, it, you know, the price, you know what I mean? Bitcoin goes up, other alts go up and everything, but um, it'll be interesting to see what happens here. I think, I think we have a really good support level at 60,000, but um, it was odd that we hit like an all time high before the having. Um, and I don't know why. I got. I mean, I have like conspiracy thoughts. You know what I mean? If I want to get my. So what are you thinking then? So what do you think? I, I mean, you you want my tinfoil hat theory? Yeah, I want <laughs> I want I want you to go all in on this one, Mike. Yeah, I, the tinfoil hat theories. I think they just wanted to sell as many miners as possible beforehand, make them as profitable as possible. Because usually, mm -hmm. pr, you know, leading up to a having, people get very fearful of buying equipment, right? But leading up to this one, the price was so high. You know what I mean? It wasn't just like a Bitcoin was at 20 grand or 25 grand and this equipment's not really making a lot of money. So I think that they, you know, because you can, the price of Bitcoin or Ethereum or any crypto can be like manipulated, right? Like there's no right. like laws with it, right? Like it's it's a, a global, you know, payment system, global asset that you could buy and sell. And whether you're able to do it in this country or that country, you know, there's always ways around it, right? And there's always mm -hmm. people that play the arbitrage game. So, um, you know, the price, you know, long story short, can be manipulated by governments, by organizations, of course, by you know, large enough individuals. <clears throat> so, um, I think that it was the price has kind of been propped up from for a bunch of different things, not just to sell miners, right? Like that would be a crazy amount. Not that Bitmain couldn't do that, but or China couldn't do that, but. Um, also inflation, all this kind of stuff, um, that's been going on, you know, the price of the banana, we went through that already. Oh man. Issue. Every time I gave you a picture of banana, remember the other day, I know it makes me furious when I see the price of bananas, I go crazy now, but, um, uh. it's, it's kind of just a, uh, a, a mixture of all those kind of things. Right. So I do think we're going to see a lot of volatility. I, I would be surprised if it didn't fall under 60 K. I would be, you know, it, it, there's going to be a lot of fear in the markets in the next month or two. Like I can, I can sense that. Right. Yeah. Um, but I think the, especially the, my, my opinion with all of this is just kind of sit tight, right? Like yeah. don't sell, don't buy. Um, the equipment for Bitcoin mining is cheap now, in my opinion, like S 21s are not expensive, you know, compared to what bull run numbers would be. Uh, I don't think that they would be get much cheaper than what they are now. So it's not a bad time to like buy equipment, but uh, doing the trading game, right? Like buying crypto or selling it or trying to trying to make money during a time of high volatility, I think is where people are going to eat a lot of shit. 
um so at the know, time better... so this is a question mike so at the time of the having right let's mm -hmm. we're at the having boom it's mm -hmm. starting over with what do you think uh the price is gonna be within the next the 24 hours yeah and then within 24 hours what do you think that price is gonna be i don't know it's it's either gonna drop a little bit in my opinion, I think it's going to drop a little bit. I think we'll, you know, pre having even within an hour, or, or I'm sorry, within um, the next two days before the having, I wouldn't be surprised if it drops under under fifty, you know, under sixty k. And if it does lose that support, it will drop lower. Uh, but I do see it slowly gaining after the having, uh, after all the fud is out of the markets and it's done with and everything like that. I think that there needed to do kind of be like a healthy pullback before something like that. I don't see the price going like parabolic, um, like it has, you know, in the, in the past right away. But, um, you know, I think we've said this before, you know, like at the end of the year, I, would, I you know, 100K, I think is like a healthy number. 120K mm -hmm. is a healthy number for Bitcoin, which is double what it is now. Uh, but okay, it's, uh, you know, I, I do think that we'll probably see a little bit of a pullback um, just to see how how the markets go. Right. I, I think it's going to go to like probably about. 55 to 58 K right that's my mm -hmm. guesstimate and within 24 hours it should go back to about right now about 61 so whatever is going to happen within the next couple of days I think it's just going to go right back to I want to say 61 I'm going to say it's going to drop to like in the 50s to 61 mm -hmm. and then increase just now just go like this and then obviously how Bitcoin is right you know, yeah. it has its moments and it do its normal thing, but um, just increase though on just yeah. going up, going uphill. Yeah. You know, that's, that is kind of like the argument that I see a lot of the time is that even if the buy pressure stays the same, right? Like just say X amount of Bitcoin is bought a day. If that just right. stays the same, the price theoretically should go up because the supply of Bitcoin is getting halved. Um, I see people make that argument and there is kind of a flaw in that in that it's half of new newly mined Bitcoin that's coming to the market. It's not like the supply gets cut in half. So it's not as drastic as a lot of people on that right. end of the table kind of argue. Um, but also the one thing to look at, not to be bearish or anything like that, but um, you know, these big ETF companies, the things that we, you know, we've seen Bitcoin just shoot up, right? And there's right. a lot of buying going on, but are these companies still buying right now or do they already buy up to what they want to have exposure with you know there's what I mean? so Is much Black advertising right now for it though don't yeah don't go into the etf you can actually mm -hmm. purchase through us directly and have your own bitcoin this is what the marketing yeah. is now so it's like i'm like holy crap you're seeing it everywhere yeah. it's on youtube it's on facebook it's everywhere you have yeah. you know don't just get a little piece of it own your own bitcoin so now the yeah. marketing is like totally, you know, we like this, right? This is good mm. marketing for us as crypto miners, for Bitcoin in general. Yeah. But I, I don't think this is going to be a pull a pullback. Yeah, it would be. I, I, I don't know. Because they're, they're still kind of profitable, right? Like a like a Bitcoin miner. <laughs> I mean, we could pull up the numbers here. Um, me... Oh, Brian Hollywood. I'm reading a super chat. Sorry, Brian Hollywood. 499 super chat. We're all excited for Dave to get his BTC having cherry popped. Happy Wednesdays, boys. Brian Hollywood. Uh, I was reading some things here. Uh, the Hobbies Miner. I heard a veteran miner is giving away one virgin BTC. Man, if I had one virgin BTC, I'd be happy. Um, Sonora Rabbish. Uh, he's saying ETF stopped to buy after um, Iran's attack. You know about that, Mike? I, I, I yeah I, I knew it was around that time i have read that a couple of these uh groups were were um not buying anymore i didn't know if it was related to iran that's the thing right like when yeah, something happens either. you always try to relate it to like an event that's happening in right. the world like some macro event and it mm -hmm. might not have any relation to it i do yeah. know that iran has a lot of exposure with crypto they move a lot of money in crypto they go around sanctions with crypto um i know the government in iran was really big into crypto mining um they were buying you know out of china they were buying tons of gpus you know you know during the ethereum rush for that year they were 
buying tons of ASICs. I mean, they were just going crazy with it. Right. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if there was some exposure there, but why would they, why would there be like a mass liquidation right at that point? You know what I mean? And where are they? What would they gain to on? liquidate that though? That's the whole thing, right? Well, I'm sorry. What was that? Dave? What would they gain to liquidate? You know? Well, I mean, if they're, if they're, if they need to buy things, well, that's what I'm saying. I mean? Like they for firearms, be, stuff yeah. like that. Right. But it's just like, yeah. I, I don't know. I don't. Hopefully so, not. We'll see. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Theories, I mean, it's, right? Um, what was that, Dave? Theories. We don't know. Yeah. Let me switch this over to... Yeah, here's a... Okay, now I'm going to blast. There's no dark mode on this one, so... He's just saying that Everyone. they'll stop buying, Mike. That's what he's saying. So no rabbit shoot. They'll stop buying. Yeah. So if they... It, it... If they stop buying, then the buy pressure goes away. But the sell pressure, the one argument I do like, I don't know yeah. who said this, but I was watching CNBC one morning and they made a good point, right? Like there's like, we talk about like megawatts, right? Like, oh, well, you know, this hosting facility is megawatts and, and you know, in, in Terra, like, you know, I work close with, I do all the numbers with Terra really. That's like my, my thing, right? I work with everyone and just explain numbers in different ways. And so I work with power companies and, we're, you know, megawatts get brought up a lot, right? Or you're half a megawatt, a megawatt, all this kind of stuff. But there's hosting facilities that have like gigawatts. You know what I mean? Like they have so much power and they have so many OPEX. You know, their OPEX is just a, like substantial every month because of their electricity bill. So they need to cover their electric bill. So they sell Bitcoin to cover it. So there's a large like sell pressure of Bitcoin right. from mining right like a ton of it and now that sell pressure is going to go down because the amount of bitcoin that they're mining to cover it is going to go down but it's not going to be exactly half you know what i mean because their their machines are all you know right now their machines are not nearly as profitable right so they are going to have to sell a lot of what they mine to cover it like it's i don't i don't know if i'm butchering this explanation but they, they're still paying in fiat for this electric, right? They're still paying for it. So they need to cover, you know, however much Bitcoin to cover that. And so the, the sell pressure, it's it's going to go down, I think, but it's not going to be exactly half. Just like rewards won't get cut in half during the halving. It, I mean, I know that block reward gets cut in half, but like yeah. if you're making $10 off an ASIC, you're not going to make $5, right? You make might make $5.60 or something because the network hash rate will go down. So your you know effort towards that block that mind block will be a little bit higher so i don't know long story short i saw um what was his name i think your friend andy on mm -hmm. twitter or something and i re retweeted that today and he was like yeah i've done an analysis with the having like i i know it's either going to go up or down or sideways and i was like yeah that's that's probably the most accurate thing right it's um who, who knows right it's yeah it's I know that there will be an incentive from China to prop up the price of Bitcoin to keep selling these miners. And um, so we'll we'll see where that line is. You know what I mean? I mean have you ever had now. like a conspiracy theory that they make some coins to make the miners, to make these things profitable, to but they put money in the back end to do all these projects, to sell these What do you mean? To miners? Like buy, buy crypto? Like diff different, just different coins. Are you saying Caspa? Because yes. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it's, 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 it's obvious, right? Like Bitcoin just doesn't shoot up for no reason. You know what I mean? It's not Why? like oh, Caspa, you know, uh, cured this disease overnight or anything like that. Like they, of course, there's a financial incentive to do it. And it's not hard. Like it is not hard to, it, I, I know when you think you store a couple thousand bucks. <laughs> oh, that's like it. I opened a can of worms. I knew yeah. it. I got him. It's, it, it's, it's a got couple em. million dollars. Yeah. Or you just say ten or twenty million dollars is nothing to ASIC manufacturers. Oh my like god, absolutely nothing. Yeah. But if if you put buy pressure of twenty million dollars on Caspa on the open market, not right now, but right. back before, if you put buy pressure on that and had that coin go up, which multiplies how much <clears throat> the machine you're selling is going to make. I don't know, Dave. Call me a crazy conspiracy <laughs> theorist. I don't know. I don't know. 
uh, what do you guys um, think in the chat? Yeah, what do you, what, think? What do you guys think? Like, call me, call me crazy. Call yeah, me crazy. Call me crazy. Uh, Crypto Craig saying the network hash rate will not go down that much, and whatever it does go down it will quickly be absorbed by the new equipment faster than ever. Maybe a month or two of relief. It is it. Yeah, that's why I said you know like five point five or something. Maybe maybe five ten percent. You know right. what I mean? It's not going to be completely cut in half, but it will. You know. Um, it's at least that's what it was on the other halvings, right? Like it, it drops, but then it, it goes right back up. You know, the S21 start getting more popular. People throw out the old hardware, get the new hardware, do all that kind of stuff. So to, to, um, to get the same, so if the hash rate stayed the same, right? Mm -hmm. You would need to make the same amount of money. If the hash rate stayed the same, you need like a hundred and, I don't know, $120,000. Bitcoin would have to be like $120,000 after the halving. If the hash not rate was exact, the same. But, but yeah. If, I give mean, or take. For, for, your, for your current equipment to be as profitable. Yeah. Right now. That's why I, I, I might be running these numbers a little bit wrong and it might not be exact. It's not going like, to be a half. You, like yeah. you guys have to understand there's so many, there's, there's a couple of variables involved. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, people are going to drop off without a question, okay? Because they're, yeah. they're, they're, uh, you know, um, their rates are just sky high, right? Their rates yeah. are just like teeter tottering right now. So those people are gonna drop off, and there's gonna be a lot of hash rates gonna drop off. But it, you still have to get to a certain point too to be profitable at a certain um, percentage of like what you're yeah. paying. You know, mm -hmm. it's not gonna, it's not catastrophic. It's just that you have to be yeah. smart with it. You have to understand yeah. what is going on. So if you guys are doing yeah. this kind of stuff, you have to understand. You know, it's just simple math, really, Mike. You know, yeah, you know, that's yeah. Uh, bad ace is saying they sell the the basic, but I assume you mean ASIC, and then they buy the coin with our dollars. Yeah, yeah it's a win win for them. I, I think that that is that's my conspiracy with Casper, that's my conspiracy with the lithium. And it doesn't mean that the people right. buying these miners can't make money on them, but it the ASIC manufacturers for sure have you know a, an incentive to prop up these coins, right? Like, if right. you look at any coins that have had. A6 come out like it's not like a mystery that months before this thing has slowly been going up to make this and then then they they use your dollars to buy it and then they are also the ones on the market selling it right um but again call me crazy call me crazy conspiracy theorist here but um you know at the current price with the ooh, there it goes i think it's my orb that's doing it but what? at the current price right of bitcoin which is what it's 61 000 or something like that you know, at nine cents, um, you know, these S19s that are making five dollars or five fifty right now overnight are going to become unprofitable or they'll be they're actually going to be very close. They're going to be right at like zero, right? Mm -hmm. Like right enough. And I think that that's why we're kind of stable at this price of Bitcoin is because it's going to ride that. You well, know, what I mean? right There's now, the way the hash rate is, it's, it, you know, the hash rate's going to drop too. That, that's yeah. the inevitable. We all know that, right? But what the the um the, the network hash rate? the network hash rate is going to drop a little bit yeah, yeah. not massively but it's yeah. going to drop a little bit you yeah. know but I think when once everybody basically gets you know or waits you know some people are just like trying to do their do the math or just like mm -hmm. the stop okay let's see what happens yada yada yeah. is this going to work for me or not going to work for me right yeah so I think it's going to take honestly I think. <sighs> For, for it to level out, I think probably a good week, maybe, for it to level out a little bit, to get a little bit more, um, like, it's gonna good, take longer than that, yeah, to, just to get some data or yeah. data that people are trying to figure out what they're doing, right? Yeah, well, shit, I'm not gonna do it here, not doing it at the house anymore. Let me go host it, yeah. I, you know, I do, I do think that we're in a better position now than we were in prior bear markets, right? Like, the last one was, um, what 2020 but the one prior to that in 2016 or 2017 like that one that where i think it was 2016 that's where i saw a lot of people eat a lot of shit on that one um that was where people were buying these miners and it wasn't just like overnight the miner would go from like you know ten dollars profitable right. to zero it was like overnight the thing became like a paperweight you know what i mean like it was worthless and I, I think that there's just too much money involved with this stuff now that they there's you know there's definitely large players in this that are manipulating markets to keep other markets up and prop other markets up. So I don't know, I need a tinfoil hat here for these talks, but 
Um, let's see. DJ Mines. I'd be surprised if the hash rates drop a lot. The big farms almost have free power. Yeah, it's not going to drop a, a whole lot. I think maybe like 5%, 10%. It's going to fluctuate, right? It's going to be... It's gonna, um, fluctuate. I do think it will dip. Um, I think it will, but not, not a lot, nothing significant. Um, Mr. Crypto Craig, I'll be shutting down my containers for a few days for maintenance. I have been putting off a lot of work that I need to catch up on, then evaluate my next move. It's exactly what I would do to Crypto Craig. That's what I did with, um, Ethereum is, you know, how many, I don't know. I had like maybe, 160 180 gpus and right after the merge i remember i was on the live stream when red panda was doing his live stream for the merge <laughs> and i started getting error codes right on my whole farm like just you know um it's no longer hash i forgot what miner i was using uh, probably t-rex miner or whatever um for nvidia and um just started getting errors right like started throwing errors i'm like holy shit because i've been doing it for just years mining ethereum and at that exact time, Craig, I just, I turned off the whole farm on Hive and people were switching to Ergo, people were switching to Ravencoin, people were switching around to anything and yeah, everything. Yeah, I turned and, off and I was just like, I just walked away. <laughs> yeah, I just, I walked I in and I was so walked quiet away. in I was, my warehouse. I was like, jeez. I was so and, disappointed uh, and angry a little bit <laughs> because yeah, I knew, right? It, <laughs> so it I'm like, this to, is stupid. To kind of sit back and reevaluate it, right? Yeah. Like a lot of people panic. Like a lot of people just go yeah. crazy and it's like, you know, that's my advice. It's like if you're having Bitcoin miners, as long as like, even if you're losing a buck or two a day, yeah. right? Like it's not, it, it's not a crazy amount. If you're losing $10 a day per machine and you have 20 machines, turn off. You know what I mean? Um, but that's not the case yeah. how it is right now with this hardware. You know, even if you had older gen hardware, 94 terahash and stuff like that, like you'll be all right. Um, but, you know, just, just rely. Like Bitcoin will go up, it will go down and, um, you know, rewards are going to go down and everything like that, but just kind of sit tight, right? Like if you, if you can, because like I said, anytime during these high volatility times, you know, havings and ETFs and, and, you know, all, all this kind of stuff, like the people that eat the most shit are the ones that react without like a sound mind, right? Like right. they're, they see things go up. And they they buy 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 they see things drop they sell 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 and um it's uh people will do that this time you know what i mean it's part of it but um it's uh that's my two cents for everyone <laughs> but it, uh it was see. like it was that, surreal it was, honestly big farms are still paying five cents for power <sighs> yeah the the big ones the the monster ones are paying four or five cents um those are like you know very large large farms like hundreds Huge. of megawatts um coastal crypto what's up guys etf is hungry i hope so i hope they get more hungry definitely hope like they they, they got a kind of full this past week you know what i mean so like hopefully they they start getting a little more hungry yeah um everyone's talking about arugula dave everyone wants arugula. i just saw arugula and i was just like Ugh. yeah man if bitcoin hits 75k dave will eat a oh bushel of God. arugula on camera no. I'll mail him a bushel of arugula. It was a bushel of arugula sandwich. That's what the sandwich is about. I was like that for hours. You guys were eating your food, and I was miserable. Yeah. That yeah. was just a horrible, <laughs> just a horrible experience. Yeah, we're not talking, okay, we won't bring up the arugula. Oh, I can see flashbacks happening like, in the day. Right? Jesus. But uh, Joker Miner, what's up, man? Craig never shut down. Yeah, Craig, I mean, doing main, this is the perfect time to do maintenance. Perfect time to do maintenance. Um, kind of sit there and just enjoy the show, right? I mean, that's really that's really what it's going to be. It's going to be going up. It's going to be going down. You're going to see tons of thumbnails of like like this and like uh, like all this crazy stuff. And it, it's going to be fun. But it's... Uh, you said it's going to be fun. It, it, it will. It will be fun. You know, that's the thing. Uh, I think everyone watching this, everyone that's in this, like we know... Yeah it's going to go up right whether it matches inflation or whatever it is like it, it will go up but it's there's going to be just a lot of volatility with it uh doing that so just sit tight don't don't react um don't react just, hawk crypto mining buy. who doesn't like arugula dave does not like. i don't arugula. like arugula he knows i don't like arugula yeah uh mr dj mines l9 and lithium miner coming but main's gonna be making bank yeah the l9 i that's I talked to Mike actually about that today. I talked to Hawk about that. L9. I said, yep. said Bitmain has a new shiny box coming out. Well, what's up with that? He said it was going to cost like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to say prices or something, but it's going to be expensive. It's going to be expensive. 
um for what's the a, guesstimate hawk how much is it supposed to be Let's yeah mike i think you want to put it in, in the chat, chat. Well, because I think he said someone had to give a regular up. price. Terra Hashes hasn't put a price on it yet, but right. Uh, that's going to be a good one to buy. I like because that's not really affected by that the having, right? I mean, everything's affected by the having. Bitcoin goes up, Bitcoin goes down. Yeah, majority of the rest of the market kind of follows that, except for some oddballs. Um, the Alethium miner, I'm going to stay away from. But the L9, really? Like if I, it's only yeah, like gonna... a billion dollars or something. Yeah, <laughs> the the L nine. Uh, if I had to get into A six right now, which we're full at our Kansas site, and we're we're working um, with Wyoming and uh, an expansion um, <laughs> out near those areas too, um, with Kansas, I would maybe look into an L nine, um, just because of how like the. The L7 has aged very well, and the L3 Plus has done well, so it's likely the L9 will as well. But okay. I don't know. Um, so, Mr. Mining King, what's going on? DJ Mines is saying that they might oh. be like fifteen or sixteen thousand dollars for the L9. He said he's he's seen yeah. them. Guess oh it. yeah, fifteen sixteen k. Um, let's see what's what, uh, Alien Black. What's up, man? Asics are the downfall of profitable home mining. It's back to a hobby for me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, the coins that switch over to it, right? That's why Ethereum was always nice. It was always Asic resistant. It seemed like a lot of coins just would, you know. But but these networks, from my understanding, also want Asics to go on their networks. Like they want to secure the networks and they want all of this yeah. kind of stuff. So, and they they probably want the price to pump up a little bit. You know, they got their little their little. Uh, five percent bag in the corner that once these asics are made price might go up i don't know tinfoil hat theory call me crazy but um mike i have a question really quick what do you have in the backstage here did you want me to show this what was it oh it was a, you don't have to no it was a bitcoin profit calculator kind of just showing like can I, let me put it how up I, no no i mean if you want to it doesn't matter to me. Yeah. i'll put it up oh but, yeah <laughs> flashbang yeah, 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 I know. That's that's why there's no dark. That's fine. It's it, fine. But it's just like give them an idea if they if you were doing a calculation. But Money King, five dollars super chat. Thank you, Money King. What about mining Bitcoin Cash and Digibyte with your BTC A6? Yeah, that's another option too. Yeah, it is. But I think that the like the profit switching stuff will right greatly like equalize that out. But that does help, right, King? Like that that definitely does help having it diversified a little bit out, people using the same algos and stuff like that. How much? We don't know. We really don't. Um, right. It's, uh, it'll be interesting to see. Um, bad Ace. Asics are stupid. The hardware is the cheapest shit you can buy. Asic <laughs> hash boards have the same uh, green boards from Packard Bells from 1993. I will say this, Bad Ace. They, if it had wheels, I wouldn't drive it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> It's, this guy yeah they they uh they're not they're not built well <laughs> you know what i mean like they i've seen some that are built better than others don't get me wrong but like um yeah they are not they're not that great but they're all, a lot of these are also in very harsh environments right so like maybe the older stuff is better to use in them i don't know i'm not an engineer you know what i mean but sometimes old like tried and true boards you know that that stand the test of time are better um yeah you know i don't i don't know i don't know i don't know either. Uh, we we Honestly. did get a super chat from mr mining king uh what about mine i already read that thanks mining king <laughs> the, the, <laughs> i actually uh, read the it <laughs> uh i don't know if i mentioned it was a super chat but thank you king um Sir DJ Mines, I see them on the websites uh, for that currently. We will see what they end up being soon. Oh, for the 15K mm -hmm. for the... Yeah, the L9s, I mean, like I said, um, I'm not a big ASIC guy at all. Um, if you're hosting them, then I think that they're good and like you have like a plan for like Bitcoin and, um, you know, Litecoin. Like we have a lot of people hosting L7s and those units are doing very well, right? Like they... They don't have as many issues as the Bitcoin miners. Um, actually, Bitcoin miners have been pretty good too, right? Like the hundred, the S nineteen Ks have been pretty rock solid. But mm -hmm. I, I have like this vision with Ice River now, like that. That's why there's like so many issues. But um, 
the people that I've seen at least hosting with the L7s, like it's actually, it, it goes pretty well. Like they do um, pretty well. Um, so the L9, yeah. I think is gonna be the same way. I think it's uh, it's gonna be a good good box. Um, bad so Ace, 60K for S19s, silver box. Though. Right, Mike? People are still um, using S19s right now, still, right? Yeah, I mean, a majority of it are S19s. The most efficient no, S19s. S19s. Just regular S19s. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of them. Yeah. So, I mean, how old are those? Um, Aren't they like four or five years old? Yeah. Yeah, they're probably four years old. You know? Four years old? Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. Just put it in perspective. Like, these don't, they don't last that long, I guess, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. for the most part, like a lot of ASICs, like, you know, um, for instance, like, even like the mini ASICs, like the iPolo with the, like the four gigs, like that's going to mm -hmm. be obsolete. You might be able to do something else possibly, but because of the, um, the DAG or something? I forgot what it's called. I think it's the, the DAG or something. You're not going to be able to use them anymore. It's literally going to be yeah. just a freaking paperweight. Yeah. So, I don't know. I know there, there were some Ethereum, like, ASICs that had that same issue where they had, like, a VRAM. Um, it's a, it's a VRAM. Up. It's a VRAM uh, problem. So, by 2020-something, yeah. it doesn't have enough VRAM to do anything anymore for yeah. a classic or something. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. DJ Mind said, I think the L9 will be big business for hosting companies. I think so too, DJ Mind. The L7 already is. Um, and it's, 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 it, like I said, it's been a rock solid unit, like profitability wise and everything like that. Like the people that bought the L7s early on have easily, like, made their money back on it. Like, easily. I, I don't even think the L7 is a bad buy now. You know what I mean? I still think it's a good machine. But um, the L9, I mean, I'm not trying to say buy, go buy the L9, but like, it's not a, it's not like a scratch off like a lottery ticket like Caspa, right? Not, not. I'm not shitting on Caspa, but it's, it's, it's like a tried and true ASIC, right? It, it's been there for a while. The algorithm has been there for a while. There's a bunch of different algos that you can mine on it. I know Doge right. props up the price a lot of the profitability of the, the um, script miners, but um, I think it's good. I do think a lot of people will be buying it. Um, so mr crypto 440 won't mention the 17 series yeah we're just going to be a little quiet about that one we'll <laughs> skip over the 17 series are any of those even running anymore we don't know but <laughs> i don't think we have it we have no we don't host the 17 we don't, i think our oldest units are we do have a couple s19 uh, king will, will definitely know the answer to this better but um we do have some older s19s not a whole lot but majority of our farm we have a lot of s19ks we have a lot of s21s you know a lot of people are buying the s21s and it's not a bad price i don't know what they are you know i i think they're like what are in the four grand range for four thousand forty five hundred like somewhere in there um those i think are a really good buy um but uh, DJ Mines, Bitcoin mining won't be making a ton of, mo ton of money for a while after the halving, but the L9 offers a nice return until B Bitcoin levels out. Yeah, I think just being diversified, yeah. right? Like that's like the biggest thing for me with a lot of stuff is uh, kind of just staying diversified. Um, so I agree with you 100%. Um, uh, Gordon Murray, this guy sounds salty on cats, but I know. <laughs> it's, it's, it sounds like I bought a bunch of these miners and like I ate shit on it. I'm just like, this is the horrible, horrible machine. But um <laughs> Listen, I just, those KS, I, I, I can't believe, I'm going to let you know right now, I cannot believe the amount of KS0s and KS0 Pros were purchased just with the sales of the cables I'm selling. Yeah. yeah. It's insane, dude. It is. I, the KS0, and everyone's I not like, buying I, a cable for yeah. the KS0 Pros, you know what I mean? You know, no, yeah. not everyone wants to use a ATX power supply or server power supply, but there mm. are so many out there that want to use ATX and server power supply. So it's just it's it's mind boggling. It's yeah, it is. It it, it it's crazy. Um, it's it's just nuts. It is cool that they did that though, right? Like they made a at home ASIC that you could have. Like you could still get involved with it with a low end ASIC, kind of like the the Mars landers, like the Bitcoin ones. Like right, you're not really gonna make anything off of it, but it's cool. Like it's cool that you can have it at home. The KSOs you can, right? Like I know a lot of people are right on those. Right. Um. But yeah, no. I mean, it's no. You know, no surprise. I, I'm not really a fan of, of Cas, but I, you know, I think it's another, you know, coin that's out there. But hey, I, I I've seen. Trust me, I see the financials on the back end from the hosting company. There's people that bought 
uh, KS3s from us, people that bought KS2s, yeah. KS1s, and they've already got a return on it. So, like, you know... Um, well, they got in early, was, though. Yeah, I don't want to say, like, jokes on me, you know what I mean? But, like, yeah, they, they... I mean... I did say when those came out, I'm like, this is crazy that people are buying it, but... Why would you they, do that? They already like this... ROI'd on it. Right. So, you know, I was... But I didn't say that it's gonna go to shit. I'm not gonna say that about it, or mm. even the Alethean ones. Like I don't. I just think it's it's very risky, right? That that's where I'm coming from. That's where I'm coming from. Coastal um, Crypto with a ten dollars super chat. Local Tech ten stack for the win. No price swing with market. They're, they didn't come out with it yet, though, right? What the uh, what the, would that what, which FPGA one is that? that they were making? Is that the like little the script one? I think it was an FPGA. Is that the one where they had it like in a in a like a secure a, box? It looked like the, the football that follows the president around. I guess so. Something like that. Yeah. Um I'm not yeah, 100 percent sure. Yeah. They were there at Money Disrupt, I'm assuming they're gonna be there at Money Disrupt again to actually show more or maybe even sell at this point. Hmm. Not sure. Hmm. Um they have made uh, let me see here. So Money King said no, they didn't have made no prototype, all hype so far. Hashblade. Oh. Hashblade, not an FPGA. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, I mean, uh the mythical hashblade. Yeah. Local tech has nothing yeah. until it's working. Prototype is done. Moving on. That's called crystal. That's the thing, right? Like that that's what I always think like with this stuff, right? Where it's like, just say it was okay. real. Like let's just let's just say it is real, right? What do they have? Um, um, what was the? I can't remember the hash rate, but it was substantial, right? Like it'd be worth the purchase. Why would they release it to anyone? Just use it for themselves. Well, that's what I'm kind of thinking. If it's something that's so low wattage, and something that's like proprietary, that will probably get ripped off, right? In like an open market like this, yeah. Like you know, why not just keep it mining for yourself? It's I mean again just why sell it right know. because the amount yeah. of money and engineering that went into making that i i just know on a oh you know just on an engineering standpoint the amount of engineering okay and the amount of energy silicon that it would take to make this piece would be millions of dollars mike more than that right I millions millions yeah. and millions of dollars yeah. so with that being said, I mean, kudos to them if they're doing it. They, you know, they're very big yeah. into, I mean, I understand they have an engineering department, okay? They do mm. overclocks, they do crazy stuff. That's what their company is, like, known for, right? So they make yeah. little boxes with readers and, and stuff like that, but I, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe, you know what? Maybe let's, let's see if we can get them on a live show or something. I guess get a little bit more information out. Uh, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want, <laughs> I mean, I don't. But, uh, just to just to <laughs> see what they have to say. I mean, yeah. The, the YouTubers have shown this thing, right? Or something. I've, or I've, I've, I've seen pictures of it, and yeah. it's oh, like I said, it's always like in this like nuclear code, like secret box and stuff like that. And I I, I don't know. I, I've been hearing about this for a long time. You know what I mean? So I don't. I don't know. I don't know if it's real. I have no idea. I have no idea. But it'd be um, interesting to see, right? I think that's the best way to put it. But um, Mr. Gordon Murray, they're keeping a portion of it for themselves. So they'll give everyone else the mind on the bad ones. Yeah, like the old generation ones, right? Like they'll give the first gens out and then they have like the good stuff. Uh, Alien Black, run it for themselves for about a year, then offer it up would be a smart thing. That is ridiculous. That's the bit main model, I think. Yeah. Um, Maybe they're waiting for the bull run. Even the L9 will probably destroy it. Yeah, we'll see. Um, Mr. Mining King, veteran miner. When is the GP risers ASIC or FPGA? Uh, never, never. Uh, I don't know about. Maybe Dave will make a custom ASIC or FPGA. I don't Man. know. Not, yeah. Um, yeah, there actually was a chance to get into. Um, this was like way back when, um, but. There was a chance for me to get into some of the FPGA game, like into that and be a distributor and white label some of them. But like, I just like, it's hard to like release a product if you're not like passionate about what the product is and stuff like that. So 
and, and 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 I do want to point out, be honest, it was very expensive. So there are a couple of different reasons uh, for it. Um, but but yeah, it's um it's a massive amount of money doing research development to make a good. Um, let's put this perspective, guys. It's a massive amount of money to make a good mining uh, breakout board. Put it that way. Mm. Uh, basically, with engineering and everything else um, that you would have to do, so those six pins don't melt on you. Because yeah. not anyone out there, I'm pretty sure, has not experienced a six pin that has melted or changed color on a breakout board. And why is that? The simple fact is those breakout boards are meant to basically to be thrown away. You're going to spend 20, 25 bucks or whatever it is on these breakout boards. And they're meant to be thrown away after a certain amount of use. That's the bottom line. Mm. So like trying to get into the breakout board industry and trying to get make a breakout board that has a certain amount of layers to hold that amperage and wattage. It's going to cost you money. It's going to cost money for engineering. And, you know, Mike and I talked about it. I think Mike might be possibly doing it. I'm not really sure. But, like, I have connections with engineers, and it's a lot of work. A lot. Yeah. You know? I mean, that's my rant. Yeah. That's all. I mean, it's just, like, the, the norms that, you know, when I got into crypto mining, the norms that everyone has accepted, and basically I'm just trying to bring uh, a little bit of education, basically to this you know to this community of what i'm doing as a business right mm -hmm. and i'm not saying buy yeah. my cables do whatever you want to do i have basically ways of making cables that no one that no one can do and that's great right so i can offer something mm -hmm. but at the end of the day you guys need to like you know do your own research right of course and then make make your own decision you know yeah I don't know where that came from, Mike. I don't know. I got like something triggered. It was, me. It was uh, when are the A6 and FPGAs and stuff. But yeah, no, yeah. I get, get what you're saying. <laughs> it's it's, it's like th there has to be like a demand for this stuff, right? Like it's yeah, it's um, you know, I know a lot of people use server power supplies for like open airframes, right? Because ATX power supplies became so expensive, yeah, and you're you're limited. Now the market is like flooded with ATX power supplies. And if you're in like an R8 or, and you know, an Octaminer, you know, some variant of an Octaminer, um, you have a proprietary breakout board on it. So it's not like you can swap that out real quick. So I don't know. I don't know. Cause I know we've talked a lot about breakout boards and we could definitely make a better one, right? Like there's no Absolutely. doubt. Absolutely. Without a question. A there's designs for better ones. I just, it like, I know I spoke to you about it, but it's just never come to fruition, right? Cause the minimum yeah. order quantity is so high and, and everything like that. But um, even with the AI side, right? Like, you know, we're, we're real heavy into that at Terra and we have chosen to go straight with ATX power supplies. Mm -hmm. And we have spoken with a lot of other people in the AI arena and um, some of them do use you know uh breakout boards with with server power supplies but a lot of people are just using atx for this um so i don't know and you'll also have so many different power supplies right server power supplies that require different pinouts for different breakout boards and and everything like that it's so many things <sighs> yeah yeah that was always kind of like the the difficult part of it right like i would really like a setup like like the octominer one right has um it's like a breakout board that puts four power supplies together having something like that but with four 1200 watt ones would be great but then you're going down a whole day like i don't know how we even got on this conversation dave but it's I like no i got triggered I, usually i'm walking around something. the pool talking to <laughs> dave about this the guy a little <laughs> sunburned today, but the um it's it would need to be like an all-in-one unit, right? Like you right. have to sell the power supplies, you have to sell the proprietary board, and yes. you have to sell the cables, and you would have to sell it as a 4,000 watt power supply. You know what I mean? And then it has to, you know, obviously be 240 for that and stuff like that. It would have to be like an all-in-one thing, and there's just too many moving parts to it. There's, there's variables, many, and yeah, I think the variables outweigh entertaining it at this moment in time. Yeah. I guess put it that way. Yeah. Right? For now. I mean... Yeah. It's that's the only thing I could I could think of. Uh, if you want to share this one, um, okay. 
hold on one sec because someone sure. mentioned this in here i know panda made a video on this so i'll pull it up uh real quick let's see no so, dot ai hold on one second. Heard... so dave dave tube uh welcome what about using a pdu from the server and rewiring for multiple six pins i'm trying to a pdu for a server well, you have the PDUs that provide power for the server, but you need to provide the, the server. We need the 12 volt in at the end of the day. So you need to convert everything to 12 volts for everything else. Hmm. Well, not for the 24 pin because you use the ATX power supply. If you just need power for like uh, the GPUs and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah I'm not sure. Uh, you want to put it on? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mike, you're doing fantastic um, today. You know what? I really appreciate it, and so do the viewers. Wait, what? Every Me? no, every time you put um, flashbangs on, I lose about ten or fifteen <laughs> views. And like every time you do this, I'm gaining views right now. It's fantastic. How do I how do I turn it off the dark mode? No, <laughs> yeah. so what a friend. <laughs> but um, uh, yeah, what's well, uh, my GPU notes? Um, mentioned what do you think about node ai i saw panda made a video on this and he put him and retro mike um i don't know did like some kind of like collaboration type thing with this where i think panda hosted his machine and then retro mike rented it um and everything like that i didn't see a whole lot past that um but um asking what i think about it uh, i love any project that's doing this model right like i'm a big big fan of compute rental like huge fan of it um i'm really big into vast ai i'm really big into um you know uh, some other ai platforms that are out there like this one like node ai I'm not saying it's an ai rental platform um but you can rent it and do whatever you want with it right um and then obviously flux core with flux edge that is what they're striving to do as well um, so I'm a big fan of it, right? Like I just, I'm a diehard Flux fan, right? Like everyone that's watching this is like, okay, Mike, Mike obviously likes Flux. And Casper Casper's fan not, too. Casper, like I don't have a Casper <laughs> ornament on my tree, you know what I mean? But I don't, I don't dislike it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't throw it away, right? Oh, um, man. but <laughs> anyone doing this model, I really like, um, for a couple of different reasons. One, there's like a use case. I always analyze everything with the use case, whether it's whatever Casper does, and whatever, whatever these other uh, coins do and stuff like that, it's like a use case scenario. So Node AI, Node AI has a use case, right? And I really like that. The one thing I don't like about it and um, is that it settles um, in Ethereum, right? Like it uses like ERC-20, um, the Ethereum chain to settle payments. So like if you make 10 bucks, and you rent your your machine out for 10 bucks then you're going to be um paying five dollars to to cash this thing out and then wherever you cash it out to you're likely going to have to pay another fee to do it so i know the big issue and i, I think i saw some of retro mike's video and he made a really good point um it's important that the payouts are in options other than fiat right like we're a crypto community we all believe in crypto we all Right. You know, we all know that the dollar is becoming worthless. Everyone's currency, whoever's watching this, like your government's just screwing you. Like your currencies are getting worth less and less. So you want to hold on to, you know, currencies that are um, not controlled by governments, right? Like they just won't print a whole bunch more. And I'm not getting, not going down that rabbit hole, Dave, I can tell. <laughs> You're like, don't do it. But um, um, but there has to be a way to settle these payments. Right. Um, and that is something that uh, they need to... Uh, figure out right like it's um, maybe payment thresholds or kind of doing I think retro Mike even mentioned this or is retro Mike or panda I can't remember um, but they made a really good point saying why not group these payments you know what I mean like pay out once a week and then they can do the payments just one time and then eat the fee the fees will be less right because there's more things going that's kind of like how pools do it um, so I think it's it's a good start right um but yeah any project that does this model of renting compute i really really like uh it also breed like competition is good i'm a huge flux fanboy you know i i that got my blue light for flux. i'm just kidding i just like blue but um <laughs> it it breeds competition right like competition or i'm sorry competition breeds innovation 
and uh it all it's gonna do is make these platforms better that's all it's gonna do you know yeah. what i mean like some some platforms might be like I have, I have a better one i have a better one this one's better that this one's uh better but um the idea is that they all pick up different things from these other people doing different things and that's really what what makes all of them better right so i know that that's like a 20 minute answer to your question um but um thorough but oh, mining king this is another five dollar uh, super chat is very thorough uh, he says be warned they require private keys which is extremely dangerous i would advise against as i believe retro mike didn't make one either yeah i mean that's a big problem right um requiring stuff like that is uh gives them complete full access to everything so i think a lot of these companies in the beginning i, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt that it's not like malicious but it is more so the easier route to go live right away if that makes sense right they're like this is the path of least resistance to get live and um that's where a lot of these companies just migrate to um because there is like a rush yeah. right like this is compute and rental compute demand for compute all of this stuff is like a new space race right like governments are doing it private organizations are doing it wall street's doing it healthcare is doing it, everyone's doing it everyone needs it um so that's why it's important to build a good foundation right and not that i'm a huge fan of flux you know i'm just kidding but flux uh <laughs> spent a lot of time building their foundation right and i like that it's it's been a lot slower than a lot of these other companies uh, but i've been very impressed with flux edge uh the alpha of course there's hiccups it is definitely an alpha uh but just having my machine right here this one um that one uh that's a 4090 with an epic right now it's mining flux through flux core and i have flux edge enabled and just <laughs> seeing um you know and jeffkey was the one renting my machine davy the guy you know he pops on our show often um he was renting uh my machine on the back end for like a couple days right and seeing just everything that they can do with that on the other end you know even just launching stable diffusion and like it really connected all the dots right it was like okay well this is yeah. why they needed this to be done this is why they needed that to be done so um it is nice seeing that right and projects like node ai uh rental you know you can go here i mean I mean, so, some of these are a little bit, a little bit crazy. Two dollars and thirty cents for a forty ninety. I mean, I will move all my forty nineties over if that's what they're making. But um, right, they do have, uh, <laughs> you know, s some machines on here. Uh, and the pricing right now, like, it's it's a it's like a bid ask spread. You know what I mean? Like, there's um, as supply gets put on here um and it becomes saturated the price will come down you know like vast you know for specific things you know like a single card 4090 rig on vast like this one it's not really going to go for a whole lot i mean it has an epic so it might be a little bit better than the others that just have you know other other uh well the eh, not really because the epics for multiple lanes but you guys know what i'm saying um it's very saturated because you could connect it right here in a room right like but a you know 20 card one is going to be worth more because it's it can't like not many people are building it you know what i mean so um kind of went on a tangent there but uh Danny the travelers travel what's up man hit that like button yes everyone yeah you're watching this hit that like button do appreciate Smash it, it. On, i know it's on dave's channel so save the save the like button for when we're on my channel next week <laughs> this guy uh, he's on fire tonight uh i've been you uh the usd is <laughs> yeah uh mr ivan yoon what's up man always always enjoy when you when you stop by um gp risers the usd is 4.7 x compared to my currency so usd is valuable for us yeah it's that's what's crazy about the worldwide economics right like it's it's just nuts like the dollar can be so powerful elsewhere and also i have to admit like the dollar compared to a lot of other currencies um even with the rapid inflation i can go on the banana thing if you want to bring up the banana chart again dave i'm down to talk about bananas <laughs> no, again no even even though we have seen rapid inflation our dollars worth not as much as it is anymore like money is just not worth as much right oh, like everything man. is everything is just expensive it, that, that's just how it is now other countries do have it a lot worse so i am grateful for that you know um but but yeah the the us dollar is very strong uh, and it goes a very far way i was actually looking at something earlier today i don't know why but it was um the us dollar uh, it, you know in japan like how far it goes in japan 
uh, compared to the yen. Um, and I see those charts and I'm like, holy shit, like it's, you know, it's insane. We always complain here, right? I mean, Americans always just have everything to complain about. Oh, you know, they'll just look up the sky. It'll be hot. And they're just like, this is ridiculous. Like, I can't believe they're doing this to us. Um, but oh, retro Mike, there you are. What's going on? Uh, this thing, the reason they require the private key is because they auto provision unique restricted user accounts for every rental. The renters don't have elevated access. Well, that's pretty good. That's a good reason. Um, okay. I wonder if but they King, automatically. We'll read do your that. messages. You don't have to keep on giving the super chats, so. though. <laughs> uh, we have a couple other ones. <laughs> uh, what's up, Goat? Peak of all trades. The Fluxception. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, Bad Ace. So, when the heck is Flux Edge going to actually go live? Here, I could share it real quick. I know we're probably going to wrap up here in the next five minutes, but here, I'll, yeah. in case you didn't see it. <clears throat> When's it going to go will... live, though? We have nothing right now, right? No, we. I mean, here I'll I'll share. No, share no, no. no. I know that. I know that. But I'm saying like, it's live, Mike. You good? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I think. I'm I just saying so. like, uh, I don't know if they gave any updates yet. Has there, there's an update. Given... I just haven't updated yet. This no, is no, no, the, no. The... Have they given an update about what's going on or what their no, forecast? No, I bug Jeff forecast. all the time. I know. But Davey, I think, or I don't know where Davey yeah. is right now. Actually, I think he's in Dubai. They're at the Dubai conference, which is crazy because oh, Dubai right. just had a bunch of bunch of rain. So I should probably follow up and see if he's all right. But um, they had a crazy rainstorm uh, before. Um, Mr. Mining King with another $5 super chat. Just, just pouring in here. I appreciate it, Mining King. Um, if you use Me private too. SSH keys against multiple machines, they can access all those machines with the private with that private, so the SSH key isn't secure anymore. And this is a little bit above my my uh, SSH clearance, I guess you could say. I've been learning a lot about, so about this stuff SSH, the last couple of months. But so if you use private um, SSH keys against multiple machines, they can access all those machines with yeah. their private private. So the SSH yeah. isn't secure. So the private SSH is secure. That's basically what he's saying. Yeah. That's crazy. But, um, son of a rabbit tech. Japan has massive debts, uh, debts since decades. Yeah, that's, I know. I just, I don't know why I was reading that the other day. It's just the, my mind just is so scattered. It's just like all the time. Retro Mike, pro tip. All putty SSH keys got deprecated this week. If you don't regenerate them under the new standard, they are all vulnerable. Uh, I wish I knew a little bit more about that, what that means, but I just hope that I can still access my machines next week. So you may, if you see a little ding on Discord retro mic and it's like the GP risers logo with like a message one, it's from me. It's it's probably something related to that. Um, bacon, <laughs> eggs, and hash. I saw a small watermelon going for 11 bucks today at the store. This is what I'm talking about, bacon, eggs, and hash. So now it's watermelon Dave, and Dave, bananas. Forget about it. You it's know what? It's not just bananas. Why can't arugula go up so you just don't buy this shit anymore? Well, arugula <laughs> is like a necessity. You know, the, the, needs the, 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 the state of emergency of arugula goes up because I know you love it so much. <laughs> I but um, hate it. It's 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 it's, a, it's, it's crazy. You go out like I everything uh, is more expensive. Don't even give me a start. I'm gonna. I told you guys I'll make a banana listen, chart. We're about to wrap we'll, it up, so we'll do the banana chart yeah, next time on on Mike's channel. Yeah, we'll channel. do the banana chart next time. But um, Mighty King has yeah, something to say here. If they have private key, um. If they have private, they have key to access all of the VMs of your machine. So the key is a private key. In essence, you give up all the keys. Yeah, it's pretty stupid, he says, in my opinion. Stay away. Yeah. Do you want to say, uh, mention real quick before we head off? Alien Black said, um, what are your expectations for Caspa going into the bull run with no utility? Uh, will it get left behind by all the more useful projects? I don't I don't know. I don't know. It kind of depends um where this next bull run goes, right? Like all the altcoins, regardless of the project, right. usually flow up with Bitcoin, right? Like that's the main indicator. I know that the dominance has um been kind of separated, but it's mostly Bitcoin. So my two cents, um I'm not a fan of Caspa. I don't I have not read their white paper. I've not like gone to an in-depth analysis of Caspa. To me, it's just a faster mousetrap, um, but I think it'll go up. I don't know. I think I, I think all the coins will will go up, um, you know, along with with Bitcoin. Um, but who knows, right? It's a crazy world. Crazy world. Um, 
Edible zebra or eatable zebra was a banana and arugula sandwich. There you go. You got a million dollar idea. That's the, D- D- Dave's looking at the screen right now. He's just thinking about it. Um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, we will bring that chart up. But I, I will show you real quick. I, I think someone mentioned something with uh, Flux just real quick for a minute. Yeah. Um, you know, I have it mining right now. You can see my uh, 4090s uh, running at 137 souls. I didn't do anything crazy uh, for overclocks or anything. All I did was set a power level at 330. I just wanted to mess around with it, <laughs> you know, see what works, what doesn't. Because again, this is like a alpha, like an alpha of an alpha. Um, so it does work. It's been mining actually for days. Right. Um, but here on under Flux Core, they do have services enabled on this alpha version or this developer's version. And that's where you can kind of see here. It's called Vistang Proof of Useful Work. Um, when you click in there, you can kind of see everything about it. But it says that it's mining right now. But if it says that I'm subscribed to these services, I know I'm kind of going real quick on this, but the subscribe services are here. Um, I'm subscribed to artificial intelligence and rendering. Uh, from my understanding, there'll probably be a couple more that come up as this progresses. So what he's saying, um, Mike is saying that he's subscribed to these services that basically this is what he's going to be... Uh... You know this is what he's offering yeah so those yeah. are the services like, that offer... he could do yeah f- you know for the so, public that they're going to rent in this whole yeah. you know thing just so it, it's mining right now yeah. uh but just say someone's on the other end right like and i don't have access to the other end uh davy does but he can find my machine on the other end and he can rent my machine for proof of useful work which is like ai rendering whatever i'm subscribed to on the right. services side and then my machine will switch from mining and switch over to um, the service. And I will get paid for that. And then uh, whenever they're done using the service, it will switch back to mining. And again, real quick, it was amazing seeing this, seeing it in real time, being able to log in remotely uh, to a machine and being able to run, um, you know, different, uh, you know, al- different language models. You know, we were having fun with Stable Diffusion. We had a, um, a GIF one that was going um you know just t- different stuff it, it really is uh interesting so um i know that they're going a little bit slower than a lot of people want uh them to but it's um moving in the right nice direction to you just need it to work. have patience that's all. exactly exactly just have patience, that's uh, guys. it'll be all right yeah. so, very happy with it but i'll let you wrap it up dave I all right see you falling asleep there well <laughs> I mean, you know, you, uh, I'll text you on purpose. That, like, uh, I'll text Mike in the morning to say hello, and uh, if something's going on or we have to do something or whatever, like or we have an idea, I have an idea, I'll text him at like fucking six in the morning. Yeah. I'm, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, what did I do today? I was like, I text him around like ten or something. And yeah. I was like, here, I'll let you. So your phone doesn't ding <laughs> early yeah, in the morning. I, I wake up every day to a sweet text from Dave. <laughs> Like, hey man, <laughs> hey, what's uh, going on? What's up, hey, what's going on? I you just up sent yet? something. It's like, no, not yet, Dave. <laughs> I got no choice. I have yeah. no choice, man. I have to get yeah. to work, uh, and make cables. And uh, oh yeah, there's a big, a pretty cool order that I'm working on. I forgot to tell you guys, really, really cool order that I'm working on. Hopefully, I can get it out within the next couple of weeks. And it's someone that you guys know that it's going to. So it's going to be really, really cool. With that being said, we will see you. Huh? I think you know. With that being said, we're going to be on Vistang's channel next week, a.k.a. Mike or GPU Risers. He has a lot of names. I'm just Dave the Veteran Miner right now, and another name is coming soon. So stay tuned for that. That's right. Um, I appreciate you guys. As always, hit that like button on the way out, and we will see you guys on the next one next week on Mike's channel. All right. Have a great week, guys. See you soon. I appreciate you guys. Thanks for everything. Later. Bananas. Bananas. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man.